welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'm trying to run through a space that clearly isn't there. Oh, I think I can do it. You can do it, Max. Yes! Good. Start the day with a victory. Start the day, I say. It's like 7 p.m. now because things have been weird. Things have been weird. Had a good six hours of sleep last night. Problem being that there were four hours in between the second hour and the third hour. Anytime you'd like to save our lives, I would appreciate it. I've apparently taken a wrong turn, because there's a base right here. Uh... Weird. Why did I start in the middle of nowhere? Because I want to demonstrate something. It might make a decision make more sense. I forgot about the teddy bear. Ooh, that's a minefield. These cages are going the other way. He seems quiet today. Oh, good, I did that thing again where I drove past the thing without noticing it. Turn-offs. Fine, let's catch up with the road this way. You see, the objective is in the middle of nowhere. But it sits right next to a racetrack. And I wanted to show exactly how much of a pain in the ass it is to get there. In order to explain why I'm going to take the race when I get there, not the mission. So that I can just teleport back if I win. Can't even use an elevator transition to get back. I have no time for you. That's a rock. Come on. This suits me just fine. This could work as cover. Odd. That those were, uh, Scrotus cars. It's been a weird day. Okay, so the shot knocked Petra on her ass. Ha! But she got a kill! So we've elected her to carry the gun. I think it was good for us city peeps to test this wilderness to see what we're made of. The men, of course, were bent out of shape, whined the whole time about who should carry the gun. Honestly, they would be the first to go if hell were to ever break loose. Only the living and the dead now. Now we goes. Tell that to the outcryer.
dude covers himself in pretty lights. Then there were fucking issues I had to resolve. Updated my, uh, video drivers last night. Well, you know, those broke things, so I had to roll that back, and that broke my recording program. And then I accidentally deleted, uh, went to delete the local files for this, because uninstalling didn't seem to work. And I accidentally deleted the whole file of everything that was installed on that drive with, uh, Steam. So that's not ideal. No, sir. So then I had to do a system restore. And now it's 7 p.m. Knowing they risk their hides. At the drop of a hat, these players are ready to die or kill. I don't know why I need to get a partner anyway. What's wrong with Chum? The O Ring. The O Ring is more than just a death run, it's where Crow Dazzle calls home. Situated high in the hills over. Looking dead barrens, one can easily see the relentless emptiness of the wasteland. Sometimes drivers can be found lurking around the O-Ring, trying to summon up enough courage to attempt one of Crow's death runs. They're usually desperate from fear and hopped up on fumes, so care must be taken on upon entering. I like that it's called the O-Ring because it's a donut store. Yeah, nothing weird here. Just FYI, I'm stealing from you guys. You the guy? No, you're not. I am slightly on edge today. This door is painted on. My bad. Ma'am. Or is Crow Dazzle, anyway? God damn it. Shout out to everyone's friend Spartan Demon. I started playing this very game because of this very playlist. This video series. And uh, discovered a rather atrocious bug. Which has stymied him. In which he cannot refuel any of the balloons in uh, Pink Eye's uh, territory. There's just no button prompt, even if he's holding a gas can. How the balls do I get up there? Oh. Great. I have to actually talk to Crow Dazzle in order to do this. I wonder if that means it's not a real race. I should be so lucky. But if that means I can't just fast travel back here, I might as well find the other bits of scrap. In fact, there doesn't seem to be anything out here. I just wanted to mention that because, uh... You know, to give people a heads up if they want to play this game. Oh, there's one. And there's two.
Let's see what else do I have here. Uh, shout out to Long Play Central, who explained how the the uh, the cleanup crew mechanic worked. That is, that it just picks up the scrap that gets dropped from cars you destroy, not that it generates new scrap from cars you destroy. Uh, before the episode where I stumbled across that, or I realized that on my own, came up, I should say. Before that was released to you fine Burning Dog fans. And I don't care anymore. Let's talk to Crowdazzle. Unless it's in here, that would be nice. Fuck it, give me one of these hubcaps and I'll call it even. I'm just checking. It would be entirely in keeping of this game to put it out of my reach. Alright, Crowdazzle, what do you want? Ho! Oh, a wanderer comes. I, Crowdazzle, bid you welcome to the Circle of Light. To the Circle of... Wait. I see you're not here to race. I can see it in your eyes. I said. I'm looking for a fighter to join the Gastown race. They say you know them all. A shiny crow such as I is easily flattered. I may help you after all. Give me a name. Only but one left. Tenderloin. She used to ramble large. Now she sucks the mask day and night. What? But Crow thinks a shot at the bigs could make a bad girl right. Where is she? Out back, up in that gas. But tread careful. She still loves her a good murder. Fumehead's dead. Oh, that was you I almost stepped on earlier. Ha! <sighs> Just checking. That's going to itch at me. Gold, darn it. All right. I didn't actually look directly at her, so I didn't notice it wasn't one of the generic models. Oh, shit. I see the thing right there. Victory is mine! Hello there. You look really uncomfortable leaning against an axle. I'm just going to throw that out there. I need a fighter. What oh, is my sucker to say to me? You want to fight me? No, I need a fighter. Someone to partner up for the gas town races. <laughs> oh, races. The taste of blood on your lips, your own, someone else's, it don't matter. You're alive while death is all around. Do you want to join me? Yeah. Uh, if you do something for me first... It should get more gas. Square my dad with Crowdazzle, and I swear I'll get sober and murder up with you. Mm. Great. I am guess I'm lucky that that's the only real bug I've encountered so far. I haven't had anything particularly game-breaking. Uh, there you are. Tenderloin. That two things good going. The killing and the fuming. Now where am I mask at? Tenderloin is a professional fighter and veteran of the Gastown races and various other blood sports. When she is not fighting, she likes to huff inhalants such as nitrous, gasoline, and fume. Her goal is to be either oblivious or fighting in the arena. These two extremes are the only things that make life worth living for her. I mean, in fairness, this plate, this, you know, universe kind of sucks. Oh, actually. See, I 
think it was uh, one of these. Yes, the very last one. Shout out to Torek00. Zero zero. Uh, th yeah, this is the intruder. They are uh, very dangerous, but they are vulnerable, especially on the doors and drivers. And uh, Torek pointed out that I have basically been training to take down this car for the entire game, the way I focus on taking out the drivers. <laughs> what have I collected? Oh, yeah, the... Oh. Rustbird! Dismantling the Stankgum camp has weakened Stankgum's ability to terrorize the wasteland in the name Scrotus. Only the living and the dead now. Now we goes. Oh, there was another one. Oh, there you are. Tenderloin's dead. Ha! That's her deal? A crafty fume head she is. Crow can lift a wing and wipe the slate clean. But my charity ain't free. State your wish. Low down as such. You race for Crow, here, now. You bring the chills, and the spills, and the people drop bills. I let her debt slide. Fine. Not so fast, Buck. You ain't racing that funky junk here. That rubber ain't fit for my finery. Only speed demons on this track. You tune that car right, then you race my blacktop. I guess it is a bit of a tank. Yes, yes, sir. Faster, faster than I can do. But I need parts. Then we go get them. We just need to doll her up, huh? Yeah, she's gonna need a pretty paint job. Paint? How are we getting paint? Well, we can't just get it, huh? There's no way. Uh, the precious paints we need are kept only for Scrotus's top dogs. Uh, they won't just let you borrow some. I'd take what I need. Ah, boldness! <laughs> I've seen the dog rim jobby with the exact tint we crave. The decision's been made. Going after Rim Jobby. Uh, I'm guessing. That's weird. I, I, the way they're doing there, it's like, oh, you know, this is how they're gonna. I got the impression there that they skipped a bunch of stuff because I've got like the best engine and uh, exhaust and stuff. The best engine I can get without the V8, I should say. And now we just got the paint. And you know, we're talking like we don't already have like three different things of paint. I'll tell you what. So for the sake of it, let's see. Tire traction on asphalt by fifteen percent. At least the massive V6, I will leave it on ultimate. You know, it's uh, actually faster. It doesn't change top speed, just acceleration uh, and handling. Alright. Let's humor them. No armor. I'm going to leave that one off for right now. No ramming grill. Fine. Yeah, these do just straight up make it better and better, so I'm just going to leave it. No rims. Fair. No, it isn't. They don't actually make anything worse. But alright. No border spikes. The Wild Hunt! Okay. 
I don't understand that one, but I'm going to go with it. Let's take off, uh... I'm going to leave the defensive things on until, you know, we're, uh, ready to do the thing. Man, I forgot how much of a piece of shit this thing looked like without any, uh, paint on it. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen this one without paint before, except in the menu. Just fucking around. Action roll! Somehow there's the timer. Time flies and you're... very irritated. I'm Drink. Inside and out. Sucks to be you, because only this guy gets a drink, apparently. Thank you, stranger. You might find something useful there. Hmm. The ascension of Max Rokotansky. There's a uh, video I saw long ago. Well, I say long ago, but it could have, it would have been in 2013 at the earliest. Of uh, a bug from Assassin's Creed 4, the ascension of the Jackdaw, where the guy goes to the uh, docks. And his uh, pirate ship, because you—that was the one where you flew the pirate ship. Flew the pirate ship. Yeah, you sailed a pirate ship in Black Flag, hence the name. And uh, the guy goes to the docks, and his ship just raises up into the sky. <laughs> well, these guys have decided to death as their uh, preferred option, but I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max when we get closer to Rim Jobbies. Later.